I'm Corey Kellum with Phoenix LiDAR Systems. Have you ever heard the industry term survey grade LiDAR? It surely sounds like an impressive term, but what does it actually mean? Stay tuned to find out. In this video, we'll cover the meaning behind the term survey grade and also go over some of the other grades of LiDAR with benefits and drawbacks of each. Let's start by defining the term survey grade accuracy. Surveyors use a variety of tools. As far back as the year 1620, a technology known as a Gunter's chain was used for surveying. A Gunter's chain is a 66 foot long chain divided into 100 links. One acre is actually 10 square chains and is used to measure land area. When property boundaries were surveyed using chains, distances would be off by a foot, multiple meters, or even more. Nowadays, surveyors use tools that are much more accurate. GPS survey equipment is used to take 3D location measurements for topographic surveys, engineering surveys, construction surveys, and many other applications, capable of measurements ranging in accuracy from 0.5 centimeters to 4 centimeters. Total stations are precision instruments used to measure angles and distances in order to derive 3D location measurements and achieve accuracies at the sub-centimeter level. Digital levels are instruments used to take elevation measurements to a high degree of precision with measurement accuracies at the millimeter level. So what is survey grade accuracy? One meter, one centimeter, one millimeter? These days, survey grade accuracy can imply an absolute accuracy of around 10 centimeters, which equals three tenths of a foot or better, depending on the specific application. However, although the term survey grade accuracy can apply to 10 centimeters, an absolute accuracy of three centimeters equal to one tenth of a foot or better is commonly the goal of land surveyors in the majority of their applications. This level of accuracy is feasible by an operator with the right expertise, who follows the best practices and uses high quality survey equipment. Okay, so what is survey grade LIDAR? So you may be wondering, if there is no universal definition of what survey grade actually means, how do we know which accuracy to achieve for LIDAR projects? Well, there are numerous methodologies for how to measure LIDAR accuracy, but the industry standard to follow is the American Society for Photogrammetry and Remote Sensing's Positional Accuracy Standards, which separates different grades or classes of LIDAR. Specifically, LIDAR is separated by vertical accuracy classes, ranging from one centimeter to over three meters. Understanding these class distinctions is critical to the success of your project and business. For example, if you aren't able to achieve the required accuracy class agreed upon, you likely will not get paid for your work, or worse, you could lose the trust of your client and sacrifice credibility and reputation in the industry. To avoid this, let's talk about each class to get a better understanding of where each accuracy class applies to real-world applications. I'll cover the benefits and drawbacks of each class and how this relates to modern drone-based LiDAR surveys. Depending on the drone-based LiDAR system you are using, it likely falls in either the 2.5 centimeter, 5 centimeter, or 10 centimeter class. The 1 centimeter class is rare in real-world outdoor mapping applications and is more commonly applied to indoor, industrial, and mechanical scanning use cases. To achieve this level of accuracy typically requires a static terrestrial scanner, as drone-based LiDAR systems are not capable of reliably achieving this class due to the numerous variables that come with scanning in motion. The benefit of the scanners in the 1 centimeter class is simple. You meet the strictest requirements for the highest accuracy class. Unfortunately, there is a drawback in that it takes a very long time to collect data on larger sites, and static scanners require you to perform a vast number of static scans over multiple locations on foot. The two and a half centimeter class is much more common and applies to the majority of high accuracy drone-based surveys, including utility infrastructure, construction site monitoring, and land erosion mapping, to name a few. The two and a half centimeter class can consistently and reliably be achieved by Phoenix LiDAR Systems technology. All of our Ranger and Mini Ranger solutions are capable of this accuracy, capitalizing on Regal's renowned high-precision LiDAR sensors. The benefits of the systems in the 2.5 centimeter class are the high accuracy and the high-density LiDAR that can be collected at high speeds over large areas. The drawback is that these systems are generally more expensive than the other lower-tiered systems available to the market. The 5 centimeter class is also common in drone-based surveys and applies to projects including powerline vegetation encroachment analysis, land development, landfill, and large excavation site mapping. The 5 centimeter class is also achievable by the rest of the Phoenix LiDAR systems lineup. Our recon and scout systems integrate Velodyne, Hasai, and the LiVox sensors. 
While some of these systems can achieve the 2.5 centimeter level of accuracy, they more consistently and reliably achieve the 5 centimeter class results. The benefit for these 5 centimeter systems is that you can still achieve survey grade accuracy at a much more affordable price point. The drawback is that you may not achieve the level of accuracy required by some specific survey applications. This highlights the need for a LiDAR user to choose the right tool for the right job, noting the level of accuracy required for mission critical results. So to recap, the term survey grade LiDAR is in and of itself rather vague, but typically refers to accuracies less than 10 centimeters, with the accuracy of three centimeters or better being the goal for the majority of land surveyors and the majority of survey applications. Phoenix LiDAR Systems offers a wide portfolio of survey grade solutions ranging the spectrum to meet the most challenging demands while keeping costs under control. We hope you enjoyed this video. Phoenix LiDAR Systems is dedicated to making and sharing high quality content on this channel. So if you learned something, please subscribe and hit the like button below. And if you have any questions or topic suggestions for us, be sure to leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.